Hey everybody, it's Brian from Team Aquascape. I am sitting in our sandbox studio, and some of you might remember this space because last year with all the artists of the year, we came in and we built these epic water features. Today, I'm hopefully gonna show you guys how to build a fountainscape in a short amount of time. I think the whole idea of this is, I know what a huge impact a fountainscape can make to any yard, and it's so, so easy to install. So I really wanted to show you guys, inspire you guys, hopefully can convince you that you too can have an awesome, awesome water feature in any space in your backyard. So check this out. Here's the space we're gonna work with. So the whole idea is taking a boring area of your yard, in this case it's a boring area inside a sandbox, and taking it to its fullest potential. So as long as you have a four foot by four foot area, we can get our aqua basin in. If you have a little bit more space, we can get creative with some accent boulders and everything else. But I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process and show you how this space can be transformed and bring all kinds of life to this space because water is really the source of all life. So let's get started. These two guys, hey Josh, Hey Jack, you guys ready to show these guys how to do it? Yep. So the first step is taking this aqua basin and digging in the hole. So let's show them how quick and easy that is. So with two guys, it's pretty easy. You just take it and drop it in place. One, two, three. Pretty cool, so obviously it's not that easy. It's gonna take two guys about an hour and a half, so three total man hours to dig in. Maybe an hour, just depends on the digging conditions. Maybe it's two hours. But our guys, it's gonna take about an hour. So two guys, one hour, two total man hours to get the entire reservoir dug in. Now remember, the inspiration of this thing is to show you how easy it is. So if you can imagine digging a four foot by four foot, four foot, by four foot, about 16 inches down, you've got 90% of the work done. The rest of this is pretty easy. So the guys are gonna come in now. We're gonna work with our stack slate urn. We're gonna do a medium stack slate urn on top of here. They're gonna set this up and we're gonna show you just how quick that is. So you can see here, they're throwing down a piece of GeoGrid. Now this does not come with the kit. So if you wanna grab a piece of GeoGrid, the purpose for it, GeoGrid is not there just to keep the gravel from falling through the slots. It's also to keep it to, for easy maintenance. So over time, what'll happen is the gravel that sits on top of this aqua basin will get loaded with helicopter seeds, grass clippings, flowers from your trees, pine needles, whatever. This makes it super easy to be able to pull that geogrid back, take all the gravel with it, pull it all off, and then clean it. But now we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna start throwing our stack slate urn on there. The key with the stack slate urn, make sure it's level. So they're gonna set that up right in the center. It comes in a couple different pieces. So Josh is gonna grab this second piece over here. It locks in. Jack is checking to make sure it's level. The quick trick if you wanted to at this point you would actually start filling in this hollow reservoir with some rock and gravel so if you're worried about stability grab some bags of gravel grab some bags of cobbles put some loose cobbles in there that'll keep that thing from rocking around this application we're not worried about it because we're gonna tear it down as soon as, as soon as we're done so you can see this locks in and the plumbing actually goes down through it so the whole container is solid it's gonna go down through this through a hole that's been drilled in the aqua basin and then over to our pump vault. Now if Josh pulls that geogrid back, you'll see the pump vault. So he's gonna pull off that lid, try to grab the pipe from underneath there, and then hook up the pump. Now really quick guys, we're going through this fast because we've done this a hundred times. If you wanna see details, I mean the extreme details, on how we actually dig it in, how we set the aqua basin to make sure it's a level, how we backfill that aqua basin, why we set it a couple inches lower than grade, make sure you check out our Aquascape University where we show you all the detailed tips and tricks. This video it's just inspiration and really showing you how quick and easy it can be done. We come back, they've already got the top on there. Josh is hooking up the pump. Next step, we'll be connecting the pipe that ran down through the center of this over to the pump. After that, it's throw some gravel on here, fill this thing up with water and turn her on. 
All right, hose is in, thing is set. Cool little trick, Jack's got these shims. They're called fountain shims. <laughs> They're perfect for leveling thing off. So as they get this in there, you can see that they were checking the level here. That would be really important before you put the top on, especially as you were adding rocks. Then Josh puts the level back on the top. If things aren't perfect, he can use those shims, slide them in underneath the base and get that thing exactly right. If it's not level, of course, all the water is gonna go off the left side, the right side, the front or the back. In this case, because we could care less if any water goes off the back side, we might even put it eighth of a bubble leaning this way because it'll give us that much more look here. The other thing they did, and this is a trick, usually we only show to the people that sign up for the university, but we drilled out this light. So we took a three inch hole saw, drilled out a hole in here, put this light in here, ran the cord down through the bottom, back out through this guy right over in here, and that can get hooked up to our transformer. The trick is not just drilling it in here to make sure that this water moves around or dances and stuff up on top, but the way it's angled, it should put shimmery marks all over the canopy of this tree. So we'll make sure we show you that when we're all done. Next step, gravel, and then we're just about done. inside of a warehouse. So I so apologize for that crazy noise that's going on outside of our studio. But still kind of amazing that we can come in here and completely transform this space inside what is definitely a warehouse. So we're basically finished. You can see that they even came in here, they folded that geo grid back. The next thing I would do is just bring a little bit of gravel out past this plastic edge, because we don't want to see that. But this is my pet peeve. We're just about done, right? It's easy enough to hide this aqua basin, but you want to take your imagination past this four foot by four foot container. And I think so many times our mind is closed off saying we have to try to figure out how to make this four foot by four foot area look as good as it possibly can. Instead, look at all the space I have in here. So what I don't want to do is just see this finished right here. We're going to come in, actually get a bib liner, put a bib liner in, roll it into this edge, catching the extra splash that comes off of this out past the drip line of the aqua basin. More importantly, allowing us to take gravel out past this four foot by four foot area. So I think the next step, if I wanted to take it to its fullest potential, would be to actually mark out the way I wanted to see this gravel kind of shaped around this urn where I might want to put some accent boulders and then bring in the plants. Let's fire it up now though, see what it looks like, boring, and then what it'll look like if we can take it to its fullest potential. bad, not bad at all. But a couple things. Remember when I said the water as it comes down the side of this? If it's going to run this aggressive, it's definitely going to push the water out past the drip line of our aqua basin. So as I watch this water come down, I can see it actually hitting the soil all the way out here. So we're going to come in with that bib liner. It's just a scrap piece of rubber liner. We're going to come in because this soil is higher than the top of our aqua basin. I can bring it in on a slope, overlap it into the aqua basin catching all the splash think of it as like shingles on a roof right water's coming downhill it'll catch all that splash and bring it back down to the aqua basin also allowing then like i said earlier the opportunity to make this look much more exciting than just a four foot square with a pencil sticking up on top of it all right let's go ahead and shut that off guys and show everybody how we can take it to its fullest potential are you Sounds ready I 
got to actually see it before you guys saw it. They finished and it's so awesome. Like I just love it. I think it looks so, so good. Josh, what do you think? I think it's awesome. It is, cause it is. It is. It's just yeah. awesome. First thing I asked you and Jack, what did you say? I put it in my own backyard. Right, there you go. If a pond guy will put it in his own backyard, what would a customer want? Yeah. Like, of course they want it. So guys, check this out. How much different does that look with the gravel coming out like so there was that four foot by four foot area before and look at how just by swinging the gravel out a little bit further some boulders a cool piece of driftwood back in there some plants some accent boulders here and there almost like this dry stream bed that carries on past there and then some pretty basic plantings right and we can't get too creative with the plants because it is December in a warehouse but just some ferns some junipers just totally transform the entire thing and I always tell everybody if you think it looks good during the day can't imagine what it looks like at night so Jack knows exactly what to do he's going to turn off the lights but watch this can't show you ready lights are off boom and they put those color changing lights on there Jack let's see if we can get out of the red so it doesn't feel so spooky <laughs> let's just try white I always say it looks like silver is falling off these things or these shimmery type things glitter coming down and the way the lights sit at the base of this and look at they're only about the size of a quarter right but look at how much it transforms the look of that literally looks like silver's falling off and then look as we come up and through here this light is lit up part of the back of this tree over here well you can't see that at all but totally different just amazing it looks so so good so remember guys the point of this video was to show you how easy it is two guys in about three man hours so six total man hours now that's a professional so you guys not to take anything away from you I'm sure you're super experienced and will probably take about five ten minutes longer but if you were realistic about it maybe it's two guys for a day maybe it's two guys casually working with some beverages for a weekend but it's something you can easily do remember the hardest part is digging in that four foot by four foot reservoir down about 16 inches if you can do that and you can mentally prepare yourself for the excavation part the rock the gravel the plumbing all that stuff is super easy it's about eight five gallon buckets of gravel you can all picture moving five gallon buckets of gravel no big deal there was only about 10 rocks in the whole thing and it totally transformed that space I know you guys have a space in your yard Yard or your neighbor's yard, your parents' yard, your friend's yard that would love this. If you do, make sure you share it with them. You guys, you know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll do another one. In fact, I think next week we're gonna show you how to build a pond. Stay tuned.